Come on everybody, cause it's time for the show Wake up everybody and get ready to go Fiddles and the bodies, there are no funny dummies We are gonna have a real good time Fiddles and the bodies, there are no funny dummies We are gonna be so fun Crazy bear adventures, now it's time for some fun Come on everybody, let's not sing in the song Fiddles and the bodies, there are no funny dummies We are gonna have a real good time Fiddles and the bodies, there are no funny dummies We are gonna be so fun Everybody, cause it's time for the show. Wake up, everybody, and get ready to go. When you see the fool around, you're full with delight. Come and see the play the time of money tonight. Dreamers, everybody, now no funny dummies. We are gonna have a real good time. Dreamers, everybody, now no funny dummies. We are gonna feel so, we are gonna feel so, we are gonna feel so great. Earth is catching. He should be here. Don't miss today's story. Ooh. There he is. At last, it was about time. Well, I can start. Start what? Today it's my turn to tell the story. What are you talking about, old goat? Take a hike! So that's your game. You'll see what's good for you. Today's story is about a teddy bear. Will you please uh, shut up? You bet I won't. began one night. The wind blew strongly, sweeping everything away. However, the Bear family were sleeping safe and sound in their little house. in a minute now just don't take too long I won't leave you <laughs> wow a teddy bear what's that Bob uh, just a toy must have gone in with the wind Bob don't you think you're a bit too old to play with cuddly toys cuddly toys what cuddly toy huh where did you take this teddy bear from dad it's a present for your birthday son here you are Happy birthday. But it's not my birthday. So what? Take your president hush. Thanks, Dad. I like it very much. I'll show it to my friends. Oh, wow, you've got a new brother. He's so cute. He's not my brother. I love little brothers. I'll give him a present. Here you are, little one. Can't you see it's just a cuddly toy, Happy Dog? I like this baby bear very much. It's no baby. He's so you cute. You like it? Oh! You must be sick! Leave him alone. The one time he likes something... Yes, indeed. I like it oh, very dear. much. If he likes it, he should keep it. All right, then keep it. Come on, let's play. Have a pretty little bear. You can't catch me. We can't catch a bear! It's not a Fun. Hey guys, we better go home before 
before we all get really soaked. Let's go, Kimbo. See you tomorrow. What horrible weather. Oh, good heavens. I ended up with a teddy bear. Well, I'll give it back to Kimbo tomorrow. Then there was a terrible storm with thunder and lightning. And at dinner time. It's over. Don't be so sure. The sky is still overcast. I bet it'll rain again. What horrible nights we've been having. I do like stormy nights. I love them. Then why do you jump into our bed at the first flash of lightning? Me? Yes, you. You are the only little bear in this house. Yeah, except for the teddy bear. And I bet it comes to life at night. Oh, don't scare the boy with silly stories. I'm so unlucky. <laughs> Oh, I've got a heck of a cold. It's so normal in this dreadful weather. Well, that's enough chatter. Let's get down to work. Gee, what a cute teddy bear. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because I'm sad. Well, of course. I figured you're not crying because your toes hurt. But why are you crying if I may know? Come on, huh? tell Trudy. Who's Trudy? It's me, the hippest fairy on the prairie. Well, actually, my name is Gertrude, but everybody calls me Trudy. Well, Gertrude, I mean Trudy, I'm sad because I want to be a normal bear with family and friends. Oh, that's it. Well, I think I can help you. Really? Do you think you can? Can you bring me to life? Of course I can. Anything is possible with the right magic formula. Will you grant me a wish? Yes, but on one condition. But on one condition? What condition? This one. You've got 24 hours to do a good deed. If you fail to meet this deadline, you'll turn back into a teddy for good. Okay. It's a deal. It's a deal! Good decision. And now... Uh, yep. That's all for the moment. You should rest now. You have 24 hours starting tomorrow. Teddy bear turned into a real bear. And the following morning... Bob! Come on, wake up, Bob! Bob! Can you hear me? Bob! Come on! Come down at once! Hurry up! Talk and I have a little surprise. Uh, what surprise? Have you made a chocolate cake for breakfast, huh? Uh -huh. Daddy! He's waking up. Are you all right, Dad? Hello! But <laughs> you Oh yes, it's the pink teddy bear that you found at the door yesterday. He says he must do a good deed within 24 hours or he'll turn into a teddy bear again. Oh, I see. It's sort of a spell or something like that, isn't it? Well, if you want to do a good deed, you can paint our house. Dad, you've got a lot of gall. It'll be a good deed because it'll save me work. I don't know. I guess the fairy wouldn't think much about it. Talk to Teddy to the woods to introduce him to his friends. And there... And that's the story, my friends. A teddy bear that has come to life. Great! Fantastic! Oh, well, yes. I guess it's okay. Why is he crying? Don't worry about it. He's all right. He always cries. Let's celebrate! Good idea, let's go! First I must do my good deed! And Kimbo, are you coming? I don't like celebrations! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, far away in the Trolls Cave... I have an infallible plan to put an end to the bears! We'll disguise as bushes and we'll approach their house slowly so they won't notice us! What do you think of that? <laughs> to be honest, I find it kind of stupid! But since we are kind of stupid ourselves, I think it's a good plan. <laughs> At last, we'll eat those bears. We'll roast them. Don't get all golden brown with a delicious mushroom gravy. Wow! Chili likes mushroom gravy, huh? Ah! <laughs> that gives me a great idea. We'll grill them. Stop this nonsense. We'll attack at 8 o'clock. Let's synchronize our watches at 7 o'clock. It's 20 grains to 8 on mine. Use a modern watch like the one I gave to Silly. Silly has modern watch but can't see the time on his watch. Hmm. Of course you can't. You ate it. Enough. We'll go by my watch. My mouth waters at the thought of those little bears. <laughs> Meanwhile, 
in the woods? His life is so sad, so sad. Hey, Kimbo, you look even more down in the dumps than usual. I was thinking about the teddy bear. I liked it better when it was a cuddly toy. It looked like my old one. Well, so what? It reminded me of when I lost it. Well, now you'll buy a newer one. Yippee! Great! <laughs> <laughs> Super! By the way, where is the teddy bear? <laughs> Hey, Mamacita, what an awful lot of work. Look at all those dirty pots and pans. Morning, sir. Andale, what a neat bear. Ay, Chihuahua. Can I help you in any way? Si, amigo, you can help me with those pots and pans. Don't worry, leave it to me. I'll take care of it. Isn't he a cool dude? They're all yours, amigo. Yippee! This will be my good day. Okay, Chamaquito, adios. This heap of pots is so high, how will I reach the top? <laughs> I have got it, but I'll start at the bottom until I get to the top. First these here, I'll just... Hi, Caramba! My dishes are all broken! Well, you don't have to wash them anymore. You've saved time! This dude really has a lot of nerve! Heat the rod! Out! Out! I don't want to see you around here! Ay ay ay! Meanwhile, in another part of the woods, Cuddly and his friends were having fun telling jokes. Then the teddy arrived, and... <laughs> oh, now it's my turn. You know the one about the clumsy duck. Well, there was a duck. The teddy looked so sad. What happened to him? Hey, teddy! What's the matter? Why are you so down in the dump? <laughs> Really? What have you done wrong, Teddy? I'll tell you, this little pendejo broke up my dishes. But Pancho, I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose. Of course it was an accident. There isn't one single dish, caramba. It's not such a big deal. You can tell me that when I serve your enchilada on a paper plate. Well, we'll raise money to get you a new set. You shouldn't talk like that to the poor Teddy. Okay, I should ask him and beg him to break my furniture too. Hmm, you just can't understand him. But Kimbo never acts like that. He's really gotten fond of him. Come on, cheer up, I've got a trick. <laughs> Teddy Bear couldn't cheer up. As he was thinking, he approached the lake, and there... Mosquito to stand here. I see. If he fell into the lake and I stopped him from drowning, that would be a good deed. If I could summon a little flemish. I got it! I'll push him into the lake and then I'll rescue him. Help, help, I'm drowning, help. Help me, I'm drowning, help. Did you hear that? You it sounds like help. Trick's voice. Come on, let's go. Help. 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 I wonder how did he end up in the lake? Thanks for coming, guys. We'll get you out of here. We'll figure something out. Don't worry, I will handle it. Hold on tight! Uh, Bravo, Teddy, you arrived just in time. Hooray uh, for Teddy, you're a real hero. Thanks a lot, Teddy, you just saved my life. Congratulations, Teddy, you made it. Yeah, Teddy, you did a great deed. A good deed, he pushed him, I saw it with my own two eyes. Is that true, Teddy? <laughs> yes, it is, but the thing is, I had to if I wanted to rescue him. But this is not a good deed. I'll never make it. Oh, Teddy is having such a hard time. <laughs> and what about me? I almost drowned. The water was freezing. That happened because you can't swim. I told you a thousand times. Now that I think of it, I knew how to swim. Why, <laughs> oh, Meanwhile, in the woods, the trolls were hatching their plan. With such a good camouflage, we look like real trees. No one will recognize us. Oh, yes, okay, but what type of tree are we going to be, boy? Who cares? Any type of tree. What tree will I be? A pine or an oak? An oak tree, no doubt. You know why? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's a 
enough. Put the branches on and let's go after the bears. I'm worried about the teddy bear. He wants to do a good deed so badly that he might endanger another animal only to save it. How ridiculous. Fancy pushing someone into the lake to rescue him later. He really wants to be a real bear. It won't be fun if he causes another accident. This bear is becoming unbearable. You're right, I don't know how much I can bear it, got it? It's not the right time to crack jokes, Paw Bear. We've got a problem. It wasn't bad, it was actually quite witty. Why didn't you laugh, son? Don't take it personally, Dad, but it wasn't funny. How come my jokes don't make anybody laugh? They're so funny. <laughs> I'm hopeless, I always put my paw in it. Hello, Teddy Bear. What's the matter? Why are you sitting there crying? I'm crying because I'll never get to be a real bear. I'll never get to do a good deed before the deadline. Of course you will. You'll see. I'm our first two victims. They're not victims, boys. They're bears. Cut all this nonsense at once. Get ready for the attack. You're very kind of you, Kimbo. You don't feel like crying anymore. Well, no, not really. Not anymore. Because if I see you crying, I can't help crying too! <laughs> Good! Let's attack now! You're crying! <laughs> Good job, Teddy Bear! Don't you cry, idiots! Remember, your trees will approach them slowly! Who are those creatures? These are trees. Very ugly, though. No, they were moving! The wind must have shaken their branches. They're not moving now. <laughs> It just seemed to me. They've come. Where are they now, Kimbo? No, not at all. They're out here. Leave my pals alone. Who are your friends? Shut up, dumb. Can't you see just a little midget? We don't care who his friends are. Peter, you have to deal with me. You don't say. What have you got in mind to stop us, you little fungus? I don't know. Something. <laughs> well, he's not only a puny bum, he's also just a rag doll. We can't even eat it. <laughs> and what's more, he's barely sown. What a heartless troll. They're gonna see now. Shut up and run. Poor Teddy, they've ripped him apart. He was so brave. Perhaps you could sew it back, Lisa. I think it's useless, there's no hope. Well, why don't you have dinner with us, Vicky? Of course, all this excitement has made me hungry. What about you, Kimbo? No thanks, I'll try to mend the teddy. As you like. The poor little thing deserves it. Although I don't know where to start. And while Kimbo was taking the teddy home, the Bear family sat down to dinner. I feel so sorry for Teddy. Yes, it's a pity he couldn't make it. Well, after all, it was just a cuddly toy. Children, tell oh. Kimbo to get home right this minute. Well, that's it, I suppose. At least he's finally in one piece again. Right, little bear? Leave it alone, Kimbo. It's just a doll now. Are you having dinner? Can I stay? Look! How beautiful. This cold will kill me. I'm back. Hi, Teddy. A fairy. I can't believe my eyes. Have you done your good deed? Sure he has. He saved us. Fine, and a promise is a promise. Ha! The Teddy is alive. Hooray! Bravo, bravo! Let's see that. Today I've even got an audience. How are you feeling, Teddy? What happened? What? As you behave like a hero, I'll give you what I promised. You'll soon be a real bear. Really? For good? Sure, I only have to say a spell and you'll become a real bear. Piece of cake! I liked it better when it was a cuddly bear! <laughs> Just a moment, Rudy. Don't say the spell. I've changed my mind. 
I think I prefer to go on being a teddy bear. Make up your mind. Are you sure you don't want to be a real bear? Yes, I'll be Kimbo's teddy bear. Well, if he wants me to, do you, Kimbo? Yeah! yeah. Great, sure I do! It's up to you. You'll stay a cuddly. Wait a moment, Barry. What's the matter? Do you want something from me? Do you want to find out what Cuddly asked from the fairy? Well, you'll find out now. What a pity! And it was all so well planned! Gee, don't you ever wash your socks? Of course we don't! Who are you anyway? It's a firefly. You see that, boy? There's only one way to find out! Silly, light a fire and get a casserole! Yeah. Food, food, yeah. Now you'll see, small fry. Are you calling me small fry, you midget? Shrink your friends to your size. First, that one over there. And now, the big one over there. Nobody gets special treatment. And now, I'm leaving. I can't stand the smell. Bye! Ho, 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 ho! We're thirsty! What are you laughing about now, flea brain? The spell will be over in a few days. Have fun! <laughs> Nobody makes fun of me! Now you'll see! Ooh, don't run away! It's really like being small. Ooh, bigger now. Meanwhile, Kimbo took his teddy bear home. That night. Oh, did you hear that, Kimbo? It looks like a heavy storm is on its way. <laughs> the trolls might come back tonight, and your bear won't be able to defend you this time. <laughs> trolls are crawling in the woods. They'll soon knock on the door. <laughs> Can't you hear them? They're saying, I'm going to eat Kimbo. <laughs> oh. Kimbo wasn't afraid anymore because he'd slept with his teddy bear. Well, I tell you what will happen in the next bear adventure, but I need to get more popcorn now. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. The next story will take place at Halloween. We will meet some sinister and mysterious characters living in an abandoned cottage. Halloween pumpkins! Do you really think that someone will be scared of a pumpkin? It's just a stupid kind of vegetable. I promise these pumpkins will terrify you. They live in an abandoned cottage. As they must fulfill a spell, they frighten anybody coming into it on Halloween night. As our friends didn't know any better, they went into the cottage and spent a very frightening time there! Whoa!